Prime Minister Attlee and Burma's Premier signed an agreement which will make Burma an independent country outside the British Commonwealth of Nations. Hillary is the first man to reach the South Pole by the overland route since Captain Scott's ill-fated expedition in 1912. The citizens of Prague knew the full meaning of occupation by force. The Russians, while supposedly their allies, were not wanted. Multi-millionaire Paul Getty pushed the boat out and welcomed to his historic Gothic home, Sutton Place, 21 children from St Andrew's home ready. The world's most fearsome weapon, the first hydrogen bomb. Three, two, one, two. President Wilson, ailing now and soon to die, before witnessing the complete failure of his dreams of a peaceful world. The Dorset. But to a lot of people, it will always be hardy country. Thomas Hardy's Green Hill was a fiction, but today it's alive. Stalin's trial against me is built upon false confessions, extorted by modern inquisitorial methods in the interest of the ruling clique. The North African Conference is the fourth occasion on which the two great men have met since the beginning of the war, a marshalling of effort for the more intense prosecution of the conflict. The Flying Scotsman has years of work in her still, but progress in the shape of diesel locomotives has pushed her aside. When vast throngs crowded Delhi's burner house, urging him to break his last fast, few imagined an assassin would strike near this spot 11 days later. The announcements of the century. Those flashes you can see tell the world that Britain has tamed the principle of the H-bomb for peaceful use. The singles final of the New South Wales Tennis Championships held at Sydney matches Ken McGregor against Frank Sedgman. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.